Hello everybody. This video is actually a remake of the first video that I published on this channel, my insane 10k crypto trading bot strategy. It uh, popped up on my TV even though it's formatted for mobile devices and I realized I'd subjected most of you guys to listening to about a solid 20 minutes of an intro guitar track that should have really just been an intro. So uh, yeah, here's the, the proper video with me speaking. Hopefully it's not too boring. I'm just going to run through my PowerPoint and elaborate on some things. I've also reformatted it for TVs. I share my experience freely. This is only one strategy among many. Lots of different ways to make money with crypto bots, and this is what is working for me. What if you could buy a new income stream instead of working for it? That's how I view crypto trading bots. Who am I? I'm Chris Morton. I'm a guy from Dallas, Texas, currently living in Washington State. Uh, really, I'm definitely not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel should be construed as financial advice. I started trading crypto in 2017, and I started testing various crypto trading bots in 2020. Never really had any success till this year. Um, did I mention I'm not a financial advisor? I have no experience in traditional finance or day trading. I've owned some stocks and stuff like that, but I've never to the degree that I am with crypto now sitting here and trading a good chunk of my day. I've never done that before crypto. That didn't stop me from turning $10,000 into about $2,000 a month average income. And I know that sounds crazy, too good to be true. Um, honestly, when I, when I first came up with the concept, I was like, surely it can't be this easy. And back before there were crypto bots, it really wasn't that easy. Like you would have to sit by your computer all day and set limit orders and kind of luck out there. Now bots take, they, they do about half my trading for me, which is, you know, I'd never get into day trading, but I can use bots. I'm about that speed. Legally, I need to say that your results may not be uh, the same as mine. You know, my results may not be typical at all. I really don't know. I'm kind of trading all by myself, flying by the seat of the pants. And now that I found something that worked, I kind of want to share it. Crypto is a volatile market. And if you're jumping in to make some quick gains, especially at the crest of a bull run or a, a larger market fluctuation, you'll probably lose money like I did back in 2017 when I first jumped in, threw some money in the pot, and then the market took the wind right back out of my sails. So just be very careful on that note. In the crypto world, you're going to hear the term not your keys, not your wallet, or not your crypto. Google it. Uh, exchanges can be dangerous. And what I'm about to suggest is going to put your money at risk because you're going to be putting it on these centralized exchanges. Uh, I don't recommend putting all your eggs in one basket. My goal by the end of the year, right now I've got three of my 10K crypto bots running, and they're each running on a different platform. At the end of the year, I would like to have at least five running. Each one is going to be on a different platform. And the reason is simple. I've lost money before on these exchanges. In 2018, Cryptopia, or 2018-2019, Cryptopia, a New Zealand exchange, experienced a hack, and overnight they were closed down, and they've been in liquidation ever since. And I lost about three grand on that exchange. After that experience, you know, that really did kick me in the nuts and make me stop trading for a minute. Now I just make sure to have my funds diversified on multiple platforms so that if any one of them experiences some hijinks like that, I don't lose my entire nest egg in crypto. When I first started, I only invested small amounts, and that's okay. That might be what it takes to gain your confidence. That's certainly what it took for me to become confident. So even though this is the 10K crypto bot video, just know you shouldn't start with 10K unless you actually feel comfy with it. Based on my experience, though, I needed about $10,000 to see the kind of returns that I wanted, and I'll explain that here in just a second. After a couple years testing, trading with various different bots and failing, I found something that's been working consistently for me. Uh, disclaimer, I'm sharing links to the platforms that I use and that's how I profit from these videos. So if you use the links and sign up with the platforms that I provided, I will get a kickback for that. Thank you so very much in advance for using my links. I also hope to learn from my audience. So drop comments and suggestions. If you have some insight or just want to poke holes in what I'm doing, feel free to do it. Uh, I take it invaluable. I learn from people. So thank you very much. 
Thanks in advance if you sign up with my links. Don't forget to like, it, like and subscribe if you like my videos. So the main idea or the main ideas behind my 10K crypto trading bot strategy are as follows. If mainstream cryptocurrencies swing in value an average of 3 to 5% daily, and if you go look at the history charts, this is pretty true, do you think it's possible to capture some of that? Hell yes, it is. Ask yourself, how much profit do I need to make to make this worth my time? And what I mean by that is, what's really going to keep you engaged and in the game? How much do I need to actually hit that goal? Be honest with yourself. When I started, I only invested small amounts because I ended up giving up several times. Because I never really earned enough to motivate me. Sorry, sounds like somebody's using a hairdryer in the background if you hear that. For me, the magic number was about 2000 a month. Uh, that's what would really drive me. And so that's what I, I crafted this bot around. In order to earn 2000 per month, I'd need to profit an average of $66 per day. So let's do some basic math. If I invest $1,000 into a crypto bot and I configure it to capture about 1% of the daily value swing, how much am I going to try to capture? 1% of 1000 is $10. That doesn't really excite me. If my bot's profitable, it's going to be capturing $10 each time. What about $10,000? 1% of $10,000 is $100. $100 is getting a little bit more exciting. So I need to invest about $10,000 into my crypto bot to see the daily results that are going to motivate me. Let's get to the bot. My favorite trading bots are Martingale bots, and it's a special kind of bot that does all of its buy-ins and then sells all at once. They're also known as dollar cost averaging bots. And my favorite are KuCoin and Pionex. And there's links in the video description if you want to get started on one. Martingale buys incrementally as the price dips and then sells all at once. And you can see from this graphic, my bot has made several purchases all the way down to 93. The price is currently sitting a little bit in the negative and now it's waiting to jump up to 96 and it's going to sell all of my holding at once. This distributes the risk over a dip and only sells for a profit when the upswing starts again. This is why I say it's best to only bet on coins that you know they're going to have a future that you're fairly confident about. Don't use this strategy on a new shit coin that just came out earlier in the week and might very well spike, tank, and then never rise again. Uh, you're only going to lose. No point in doing that. It's best to trade on trusted mainstream blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, things like that. Unknown and volatile coins should be avoided unless you're just comfortable and want to take on the risk. So let's go ahead and configure a bot. For this example, I'm going to use the Pionex exchange. Once you've created an account and deposited your initial funds, you can start the trading bot. Heads up, you'll need to have your funds in USDT or some kind of stable coin that trades against the, the coin in question. So let's open Pionex. This is what it looks like at the very bottom. And this is the mobile. Uh, version by the way we're not doing signing in through the desktop most people use their cell phone I use my mobile phone for most trading so you'll click where it says bot and then after you click on bot you want to create a trading bot once you have pulled up that page you're going to select DCA Martingale bot <clears throat> standard mode and then you're going to want to customize your bot. The default settings are different in each program, but I always go through and customize them based on the market condition. And I have another video that I just posted earlier today, actually, and I'll link it in the description that gives you a better idea of why I set these settings the way I do. So I'm going to use custom settings in this example. I found that using AI settings or the standard settings, I'm less profitable, but it's generally safer. They configure them on the side of safety. How do I know how to configure the bot? You need to look at the price history of the crypto that you wish to trade with your bot. To do that, if you're in Pionex, you can search for the crypto and then right next to its name, you see a little icon that says chart. Probably really hard to read in the video, but you click on chart and it'll pull open your price history. So here's our price history for Ethereum and I'm looking at the day chart. Each price you can assort by one day, seven day, one month. You can view, you know, macro or micro on the timeline. And the biggest swing today has been 
one, 2.41%. So if I were to configure a bot for what is going on that day, I would set my settings to something more like 0.3%, three buys at 1.5. This means it's only going to make three purchases and it's actually going to do it when it falls less than a percent. It's going to go 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, and then your full pos position is invested. And I'll explain in another video why that is. I'm adjusting it because it's a relatively flat day. This is a riskier bot, generally speaking. Here's my week chart. And if we look at the, the same chart but this is the week for Ethereum instead of just the day, I can see that it has uh, swung by about 10%. This is where, okay, over the course of the week, I might want to use a wider spread in my settings and capture more of the swing. It's swinging more, so I have more potential to capture bigger swings. Then I zoom out and I look at the month chart, and we can see that it's gone up over 20% for the entire month. So for the day, it was about 2%. For the week, it was about 10 And for the month, it was about a 20% swing. This is uh, where you kind of need to be mindful and adjust your percentages. If the value was 30% only a month, a month ago, 30% less, I make sure to put in a stop loss if I'm just going to let my bot keep running. Because if I don't, I could end up losing my gains just as fast as I made them. If it can fluctuate by going up 30% in a month, it can equally go down 30% in the following month. So let's discuss uh, an aspect of my trading strategy that is very important. Because if I just leave my bot running, I actually miss the opportunity to grab a bunch of profit. So I started doing something and I call it C100 take 100. What it really means is that when I log into my trading bot and I see this, see right now this trading bot is in 102 profit. So I have profited 102 bucks. If I see 100 bucks or more, I stop my bot, close it, and restart it. And the reason I do that is that, let's say it's hovering right under a sale. So it's about, it wants to sell, let's say, at 950, but the price only gets up to about 945. I might have 100 something total profit displayed in the app, but later that day, it will dip back down. It never actually achieved the sale, so I lost the opportunity to capture that profit. So what I'm doing right now is literally the key to my strategy, which is nudging the bot by handling it manually, closing it out, capturing the profit, and starting the bot again. My little profit captures that I do every day, every few days, are literally the secret sauce and the difference between only making a few hundred a month or making the target that I wanted to make, which was 2000. So from experience, I'm just more profitable over time doing this way. So far in the last year of testing, I've been able to capture about $100 every one to three days. And sometimes it happens multiple times in a day. It just totally depends on how volatile the market is. Sometimes I can capture more than that. I set my LTC bot uh, to 10% one day. I sent it a 10% profit take. Well, not one day, one week. I just set it that way. And it actually swung up by 17% so that when it sold, I had captured 10% of my 10K bot and I profited 1000 bucks that day. That was super sweet, but it was kind of a fluke and definitely luck. I didn't know that was going to happen to Litecoin. If you do have advanced information, sometimes setting a wider spread, you'll be very happy with the results. So if I can capture $100 20 times in a month, I hit my goal. $2,000 per month extra income. You think that's totally possible? Totally freaking possible. The most I've ever made in one day was the day I just, re just referenced, which was $1,000 in three day. Here's my last seven months. So... As you can see, I started 878, then I had a 1739 month, then I had 2093, then I had 2411, then I had 1803, 2231, and then this last month, I didn't really have time to babysit my bot, and I went back down. So the real point that I'm trying to make here is when I babysit my bot, and when I nudge it a little bit, and I do the capture C100, take 100, I am much more profitable on those months than I am when I just leave the bot alone. And really, uh, the first month that I started, 
I was kind of, I didn't really have the confidence and I wasn't stopping the bot. And that was part of the problem is that I would tell myself and I would kind of get greedy. It would be like, okay, well, if it's at a hundred now, later on, it might be at 150. So let's just let it wait. And that was, a, you know, unfortunately that doesn't turn out to work for me. I think the best option is to close it as soon as I see it hit a hundred and restart it. Um, if you have different results or you try something different, let me know. I'd be love to know how it's working out for you. After watching a hundred dollars go bye bye several times because I didn't act, I started acting and the difference is night and day. So why do I think this works? I kind of just described it. I'm just nudging the bot. I'm giving a little help uh, instead of letting it just kind of fly on its own. So you can reinvest your profits as I do or use it for whatever you wish. You now have a money faucet. Manage it well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's pretty much all there is to my insane 10K crypto trading bot strategy. Thank you for watching. And I hope this accelerates your journey like it has mine. Check out my channel. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,